Say hello to YouTube. YouTube. Happy New Year, YouTube. We got the bubbling up mine water. That's the, the railroad up top there. And we reached our destination. Check it out. And there's the coal cracker getting his stuff ready. <laughs> In this very wet mine. Yeah, deep enough to get my feet soaked. <laughs> well, why don't you carry us over there? <laughs> yeah, I successfully traversed the little wood pile here to get inside this mine. Pretty cool. Very dark. There's a wall here that you can sit on. And there's the inside of the mine. Let me get my flashlight. Yeah, there's two old timbers there on the right hand side. It looks like it's dry for the most part. There's a little water on each side of the main center of the tunnel. I see a drill mark over there. I thought this wall got busted out when I saw this last time. And there's Chris the cracker. How you doing? There he is, buddy. Oh. And looking back to the entrance, that's way out there. It's about a football field away. And these guys went uphill over here. I don't feel like going up there. <laughs> it's a little slippery. This is something. Too bad that collapses there. <laughs> Would have been fun to get across that and go further, but let's see, a lot of the water's coming out. <clears throat> and the guys are coming back down from their little adventure up there in the hole. Just watch your step. That is slippery. Yeah, don't slip on that little piece of wood there. Yeah. I just got to her down the neck. Yeah, down <clears throat> Civilization. Hmm. If you could call it that. <laughs> <laughs> I have your I have your flashlight in my back pocket. Right. Yes, uh, Tom you okay, Tom? <laughs> yes it is yeah we're just on our way back out of this beautiful tunnel Cole Cracker and what is that what's his name 77 Jersey oh 577 Jersey yeah okay 577 Jersey Adventures yeah he's behind us somewhere way back there he's on his way I don't know who this is, but uh, let me shut us off till we get out. For the number nine, they're trying, UGM's trying to dig that, the coal collapse out. Yeah. And get back to it. Because the shaft's still inside the mine. Just up top where they dug it up, it's gone. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah last time I was here, that was completely full of water. Yeah. No, yeah, this mine is on a bit of a hill here, alongside the mountain. But, that's not a bad day for temperature. And uh, there's the people we, some hiker we met. And that's the mine entrance there. And you can see all the water coming out of it. The typical reddish mine water. And that's about it. A little bit of a foundation up there, if you could see that right there. About midway, right about in there, you see a foundation there of rock. 
stacked rock. I hope I could zoom in on that a little bit. Yeah, there you go. You can see a little bit better. I guess that was maybe a railroad track up there or a building up there. Who knows? But yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I really enjoyed my my outing today. Yeah, there's another view of that uh, wall I was showing you just a moment ago. I don't know what that was used for. Can't see it that well. It would be nice if it was a sunnier day. Yeah, one hell of an interesting mine. Like I said it's a solid rock tunnel, very safe for the most part to walk through. I didn't find it uh, difficult. It's all like quartzite pebble stone. As you can see here, I guess that's considered a conglomerate. Pretty neat. And here's the top of that mine. Whew, I'm out of breath. That was quite the climb to get up here. You can see there's that foundation again I mentioned earlier. I guess that was for the road. Maybe they had like a bridge here or something. You see over here there's like a, a pin sticking out of the rock. Just got to be careful here. Oh yeah, here's another pin right there. Yeah, it's a little bit like mountain goat it on this. A little tight, but walkable. Okay, here's that other pin I saw. <clears throat> Boy, that's in there good. That ain't going nowhere. Yeah, pretty cool. Whew. I wish it was a little sunnier.